Thank you, Shelley. Um, yeah, look, first of all, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, the much people and other traditional elders in the room. Um, yeah, my name is Damon Jakura. I'm the CEO of Northeast Arnhem Land Aboriginal Corporation. Um, our corporation is um, set up by the 26 traditional owner groups from around the Northeast Arnhem Land region. Uh, so predominantly from the Lanapoi homelands areas down to Gapawak and out to um, up to Elko Island. Um, so I guess when we talk about economic development, um, you know, recent discussions we've had uh, at board levels is that uh, we, we want to have a strategic plan over the next five to ten years about where uh, the board want our corporation um, uh, to go. So this year we are actually 54 years old. Uh, uh, we, we're basically one of the oldest Indigenous businesses um, in Australia. So, yeah, thank you. And over that time, I guess predominantly the work that we've done is, is, has been for the mine, mining operations over the last uh, 50 years. Um, so with that coming to an end, it's kind of had to, um, you know, make us take a, a backward step and really work out the direction moving forward. And for us, um, I guess it is, it, it's a bit twofold. Um, you know, there's one, knowing that Rio uh, are about to shut their doors over the next 10 years. Um, we want to work closely with the mining organisation. Um, our core work is for the rehabilitation uh, for the mine. So we want to work closely with the mining operation and see uh, you know, if we can um, continue that work over the next decade or so, um, but also to set up a foundation where we can continue works, you know, whether that's in monitoring or further rehabilitation um, after post mining. Um, the second part to that, you know, uh, because our traditional ownership is from right around the northeast Island region, there is huge potential to develop um, our country basically out in the homelands. Um, and that's, that's feedback that our board has, has raised with us. You know, we, we've done a lot here on the peninsula. Um, now it's time to look at what other opportunities there, there is um, off lease, basically, um, out in the rest of the region. So that's, that's one of our major focuses. And we've started those discussions with our board members um, with basic information gathering. Um, and then we'll go into formal consultancy and business planning um, and then into uh, land tenure with the Northern Land Council, start those discussions and, and things as well. So we really want to map it out so we, there's a clear direction there. It's well supported um, all the way through as well. Um, my background is predominantly in training and employment. Um, and we've actually got a very successful um, employment and training uh, program that we run at North East Arnhem Land Aboriginal Corporation and it, it transitions um, local Yolngu people uh, through into the mainstream workforce and I think one of the keys to that is that um, there was, you know, there was local content, there was local knowledge um, in developing and designing that program um, and I think when we're talking economic development it's very important that, you know, the voices, the ideas, the designs of local Yolngu people has to be at the forefront um, of these decisions and of these programs, um, of these enterprises. Um, it's, it's, you can see probably over the last 20 years how many of our organisations have been quite successful across the board in employment and training, um, in education, in health, in social wellbeing. Um, and I think that all comes back to having that local knowledge, um, the Yolngu uh, involvement in how those programs are run, which is why they're very successful. Um, so for us at North East Arnhem Land, although we have, you know, our traditional ownership is from out uh, right across this region, you know, I, I think we're just one piece of the puzzle. Um, I'm a big believer in, in, in ha collaborating uh, to be successful at the same time. Um, there are quite a few, you know, predominant um, indigenous organisations on this Gove Peninsula. Uh, and I think we all do something different. So when you bring all of those things together, you actually build capacity and you build capability to be able to take on the bigger projects. 
Um, so I think that's one thing that we really need to um, focus on moving forward. Um, control and ownership. Uh, my father was a big believer in that and um, I, I think that stands true till today because we actually see um, how successful that can be when we all work together.